what's up you guys welcome back to another video <clears throat> I sh shared with you guys on the last video that uh, my clock spring or airbag um, I have an indication on the dashboard I'll show you guys now so that little guy with the seatbelt on is the airbag indication <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, showing you guys the process. I already picked up the clock spring and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on that. Just making sure that everything's lined up, steering wheel straight. Remember I did this on the third generation Prius, 2010 Prius. Uh, it's the same thing. It should be <clears throat> that easy, that simple. Just make sure that everything's straight. And do a quick walkthrough in the front, make sure your wheels are straight, and uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully, hopefully that light will come off. Oh, let's go check out the wheels. So here's the wheel, it's straight. Other side. Straight. Well, nobody commented on the, the lug nuts. I had asked if uh, I should leave them chrome or go all black. So I'm just going to go ahead and go black. Just feel that that looks better. So I'm going to be spraying these as well. Here's a couple of tools I'm going to be using. Um, some Torx bits, Torx sockets here. This is the T27, a T30. I'm not exactly sure which one of the, which one of these it is to uh, unlock the steering wheel. It's got two two bolts that hold the steering wheel. Some sockets, ratchets, Loctite. So these flatheads, this pick. 10 millimeter some extensions here's the clock spring I picked this up on eBay aftermarket it's not an OEM Let's see if I can get this so here's my replacement uh, this was a uh, 20 bucks or $22 free shipping but if you shop a lot on eBay you collect eBay bucks so this came out to like four bucks so it's a four dollar fix hopefully I'm crossing my fingers if that that's a that'll resolve the issue with that light remember guys to disconnect your battery Back here. All right, guys. I was trying to unlock these, but when I got the car, these were broken, these lock tabs. So no matter if I try to lock it, that's how I'm gonna lock in place. So it's just there for looks for now. Pick up this tray. I'm going to be unplugging both batteries. That's one thing I, I wish that I had from the third generation Prius. You don't have to disconnect all of this stuff, it's a lot quicker. I mean, you probably don't have to do this and you could just disconnect the negative, but I like to take these extra steps just to make sure that nothing else happens because I don't have a professional scan tool to get into details in case something else happens. So I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench here. So 
but there it is. Uh, negative terminal disconnected, the positive disconnected. And now I'm going to disconnect the hybrid battery. Again, you don't have to. I do this to avoid any other problems. I don't want to deal with uh, getting any more codes. So just on the safe side. Then I always put something here. A rag. It doesn't lock when I close the hatch. Just get back in there. Alright, let's go inside the car now. Okay guys, on the steering wheel, there's this little cover here where the cruise control uh, lever is at. And then you have another one on the opposite side. It's just a, a regular cover. It doesn't have a hole or anything. I'm going to use a pick. Try to pull that off. Here's a little cover, and in here there's that Torx bolt, right there, that Torx bolt there, T27 or a T30, I'll let you know right now. I removed this cover on this side, so there's the other Torx bolt, see it there? This cover has no hole, nothing. Goes right there. extension and our Torx let's try the 230 this is our Torx bit socket deal here T30 let me see if that'll fit Seems like it does. Let me try this out. Let's do double check. Let me check the T27. It's going to be T27. That fits a lot better. So that's definitely a T27. The T30 just didn't feel like it was sitting right. Try this side now. I'll loosen up this side. So this side to loosen is up, this side's down. Hopefully that loosen up, loosens up this, then here we go. Here's the airbag. So pretty much the same thing, except for the Torx bolts that hold it in place. So I'm gonna disconnect our ground here. See the ground cable. And then 
wants to that wants to fight so you might need to push at the flathead underneath and then push these tabs down the flathead pop these up one so get underneath these tabs and they'll just pull up underneath here so here's the airbag assembly And those bolts that hold the airbag in place actually stay on the steering wheel. They don't fall out. So there's something holding it here in place. A little plastic washer deal that keeps it in place so you don't lose those. So our steering wheel is straight. I'm going to mark it. Use a marker. Just gonna make a line here. Just to make sure I put that bolt when I tighten this up, because I don't I'm not uh, I'm not using a torque wrench. I don't have the uh, foot pounds on this. If anybody knows, drop a comment, let me know. But just to put it back where it was at. All right, guys, this uh, nut here is a 19 mil. It's uh, my 19 millimeter socket on an extension ratchet. Loosen that up. There's a nut. Let's see if this one will just come out. It's not, it's not going to come out. Whoa. So I thought for a second there that I was going to have to use a puller, but just uh, going back and forth, I was able to pull this off. There's a steering wheel. So you guys remember on the third gen, I don't think we even had the Phillips screws. I think they were just tabs. So you have two Phillips screws here. Remove those.
guess we could leave that there. We don't really have to take that out. Just enough so it's just access here. Unplug these guys here. So on the third gen, I was having trouble taking this one out, but now since I've seen it on the third gen where it's a tab underneath here and you have to push it that way. And that pushes this out much easier. So you guys see it here. So underneath, just pull this tab back and then you can push this harness out. So here's the clock spring. This one came out <clears throat> I probably when I pulled the steering wheel without disconnecting these. Uh, make sure you guys disconnect these. Don't do it like, like the way I did it. Because I feel that that possibly might have damaged something. I won't know until I put it on the other one. But this guy here just came out and just stayed behind. Usually, well on the third gen, when I pulled this off, this guy was on here. So it looks okay. We'll find out right now. The clips are still good. Well, the tabs on this guy are still good. Everything seems fine. And I'll just plug everything back in. Start with this guy here. Maybe I should start here. Yeah, so slide this on first and then connect your harness underneath. Clip into place. Push that, lock that in place. Mm -hmm. 
it's back in place. This goes back in place. Now we're gonna remove this tab. So two Phillips. On the third gen, I forgot to assemble this uh, back piece, and when everything was put together, it was kind of a pain to try to set everything in place. So just make sure you put this back in place, and don't go don't go too tight on this because this is plastic. Okay, now we're ready to slide. We'll slide these cables through. And remember, Loctite. I don't have to take nothing off again. Everything's in place. I'm gonna put a little dab of Loctite in this nut. A little bit of Loctite. So if you guys know the foot pounds to this, let me know. I'll go back and uh, torque this down. I didn't, I didn't find anything. So my mark's not there yet. See my marks here? Has to be right there. So I gotta keep going. If you, if you have somebody that can help you hold the steering wheel, it uh, comes in handy right now. What's there? Alright, so you guys see it there? It's lined up. Loctite's in there. If you're somebody that doesn't have access to a torque wrench, uh, just put Loctite in it, mark it like this, you'll be fine. I mean, yes, the best thing to do is to torque torque it down to its its spec, the foot pounds that it calls for. But I mean not everybody has access to a torque wrench and you know your tool set 
is not that big and at least you can get this done and just you know line it up like that and you should be good you should be fine now let's plug everything back in this guy here all right let's plug this guy in here now what's left is to put the assembly for the airbag back in place this one's pretty easy guys i mean yes it does have more hardware that you have to take out it's our ground cable should just snap back in place same thing here and then push the tabs in the locking test push these guys in and then just test with the screwdriver underneath and make sure they're not gonna pop off they're locked okay And this should just went just like that. We'll get our torques bit and tighten this up. All right, now let's throw our covers back on. So when you go to put this back in, these two tabs are gonna go in first. So they'll go in like towards the, the dashboard. clock spring I'm really hoping that this uh, resolves the issue with that light we'll find out right now we gotta go plug everything back in all the electrical all right guys everything's plugged back in I'll have your batteries back in place too I just gotta put this cover back on
All right, guys, so now let's go in the car and find out if we did it. The first test is just to push the horn and see <clears throat> if that'll trigger. So the horn's working, that's a good sign. It was still working. I didn't have a problem with the horn or any of the buttons. The light just came on, so um, I wasn't able to pull a code with my OBD2. It wasn't telling me anything about it. Um, so now let's find out if that little guy with the seatbelt comes off. It looks. Is it in ready mode? I don't have the light. So that's it, guys. I I believe that's that's what did it. Hopefully, it stays off. If it doesn't stay off, I'll give you guys an update. <clears throat> I'll let you know what's going on with the car. Thank you guys for all the support and everybody that's subscribed to the channel and. Uh, Make sure if you uh, like the content, uh, give us a thumbs up, share the information. You know, my goal is to help as many as you guys that are having trouble, that don't have the resources or the funds to, you know, pay a mechanic. Maybe you could do these things yourself, save a lot of money. I mean, we live in a, we're living in a tough time and uh, a lot of us don't have those resources. So if you guys liked it, Please thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. You guys stay safe. Thank you guys.